the swamp there. Now it's August the 3rd. I'm out for a ride today on the 2004 Honda Recon. Old yellow. Had a lot of rain the past couple of days. Things cleared up today. No rain on the radar right now. Decided I get out for a short ride. I hadn't been out on the uh, recon, yellow recon here in a while, so thought I'd get it out, stretch it out a little bit. We're a nice day though, 75 degrees. Not too bad outside. trail here on the Watkins trail it's been from all the rain and wind and stuff I think that should be far enough out of the way foot maybe get it up there on that hill there we go that worked out perfect it's a cumbersome limb right here don't want to move Was all slimy. Last weekend was real wet out here. It's been raining for the past about three days now. Sawdust path now. Recon really zips through here, I tell you. <laughs> Corners like it's on rails. Test the brakes out on that one. Slide this to the side. All right. 
back in business. I mean, the spiders are out today. They're worse than they were last week. I thought they were bad last weekend when I was riding, but these actually have the spiders in them. Spider getting up inside of my helmet. Those are the kind of riders you don't want riding with you. <laughs> Looking at the weather yesterday, I didn't think that it was going to be uh, a good day today for riding because they were talking about like you know it was going to rain all day. And then got up this morning and looked at the uh, forecast, and they had completely changed it around. And looked at the radar, and there wasn't nothing anywhere near this area. So, but I'm going out and go for a ride. <laughs> up everywhere.
had been looking at that tree it had been an uh, old dead pine tree had been standing straight up for a while now over there and I figured you know next time we had a storm some wind it probably would come on down sure enough it did but uh probably wait the next time I'm over here on the ranch and use the winch and drag it over to the side I um, just gonna try and drive around it today tried moving it by hand but it's a little on the heavy side so I figured Rather than straining myself trying to move it by hand, I just wait and use a rancher. But uh, at least I can get around it though. A lot of debris on the path today. muddy section here. day for a ride. Perfect temperature and everything. Take a ride over here to this trail. I'll uh, show you where it's kind of blocked off as like some trees and brush that fell across it the other week when I was over here on the ranch. Or I expect when it gets cooler weather, I'll uh, if somebody else hadn't already done it, I'll probably clear that stuff out of the way. But it's too brushy right now, too many bugs and snakes out and stuff like that. kind of see it's like it's all caved in up in there all the limbs and stuff fell down I don't know what caused it to do that exactly but all that stuff I'd be gotten out of there once you clear that out of there though you be out in the open again Recon's geared low in reverse. <laughs>
carving up the corners on the sawdust path. What I love about these recons, you can drift through the corners with a little effort. Making my way out of the Watkins Trail now. Ready to come up on the back side of the pond. Mushrooms there too. here should kind of show you a different view of the Watkins Pond. You can see how big it is. Almost like a small lake in a way. Glass right down there. I better hope I don't get a flat tire. must be feeding. You can see the bubbles and circles coming up in the water there. About that time of day they like to feed anyway. And yeah, I'm just cruising off the back side of the farm now. see that rabbit he's always sitting there on the trail whenever I come back here in that same spot every day <laughs>
wet down in here. back there. <laughs> that rut kind of threw me off camera a little bit. There's a little bit of flow in the spillway here. More than it was last weekend anyway. Trickle really. Frogs jumping in the water. There's a big green one right there on the edge. I expect if I try and walk down there though, he's gonna jump in. Tons of frogs in this pond right here. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they jump in, they chirp. When they go to get in the water. The big ones. see if I saw any little minnows or anything like that in the, there but I, I didn't <laughs> that comes up over the foot pegs on the recons went right through there though with no problem like a little swimming pool <laughs> kitty pool I guess <laughs> oh my yeah the big ponds filled up over here all the rain we've been getting the past few days really brought the level of it on up back to normal even the uh, drain pipe out there is getting a little action now take a ride down here to the creek. If I can, I'm going to go across and uh, I wanted to show you all this washout uh, that I've shown it to you before, but it, uh, it's gotten a lot worse, you know, with the rain we've had recently. It's pretty much taken over the whole trail, uh, what we call the tree stand path after you cross the uh, creek here. I rode B over here yesterday and we were checking out that washout and uh, you really gotta 
watch your step if you're walking through there or riding you drop a wheel down in there it'll be tough getting out see water's a little muddy through there we're feeding in rain water from yesterday and last night so it's got a decent amount of flow to it through here but yeah here's where the washout starts out at you can see it's washing this path away here never used to be this rough and rutted out this is probably like the worst part of it right here <laughs> cut right through the middle of the path and over wow oh <laughs> had a wheel up in the air there get worse as time goes along I tell you it's amazing how much it's eroded away in such a short amount of time already deer running out up there probably can't make it out on camera but big one turn around right here for today.